Well, Lee Altrincham up next. Um, it, it wasn't the best of results last time round. Is that something that's that's playing on the mind of the players ahead of this game? Uh, playing on my mind, to be honest with you, yeah. Um, obviously, it's been well documented. It wasn't a, a good first week. Um, we know that ourselves. It was far short of the standards that we've set throughout the rest of the season. Uh, we're obviously we're a different kettle of fish now, so it's a game where we've got to approach it in the right manner, and you know we know what's at stake. Was it a, a bit of a wake-up call? Could you pinpoint the, the sort of recent form to that to that match? Uh, well, you know we, we deservedly got a rocket uh, after that, and you know results picked up a little bit after that, and then obviously we went into Graham's, uh, sorry Braintree after that, and. You know, we, we know the, the result of that one as well. So I think that the Ultronum one was the start of it, finished off with the Braintree one, and I think that's, you know, really gives us a kick up the backside that we need. And I think, obviously, <coughs> down to the stats that we've we've produced through, throughout the remainder of the season, um, just goes to show how far we've come. Mm. You, you've got Ultronum and Braintree in quick succession now. Is this a chance to, to really show how far you've come? Is this a sort of chance to put your marker out there? Of course it is. Um, this is a this is a chance now to really put pressure on Barnet. Um, we picked on a, picked up a great win at, on Saturday. Um, you know, I think before the game, if we could have took a point away from there, I think we would have done. But to get all three points in a clean sheet, and you know, with Steve not really having to to make a, a worthy save of note, was I think it is testament to how far we've come as a as a group, not just as a team, but as a squad in a whole. Um, you know, we we know now that there's start obviously starting on Saturday that there's some huge games coming up, um, and I think it's important that we that we approach everything in the right manner. Uh, you'll probably hear everyone up and on about the same thing, but you know if we all want what we want at the end of the year, um, you know games like this we have to approach the right way, do the right things, and hopefully our quality can speak for itself. Sounds like you could, uh, as a team you, you're aware of the challenge ahead of these two games, um, considering the last results as well. But form-wise, Altrincham uh, and Braintree both doing pretty well this year. You know, one league defeat each in in 2015. Yeah, they're doing really well. Picked up some vital away wins as well. Um, so as I said, it, in this league, every every team can beat anyone. Um, I think it's been it's been shown by that. Um, you know, both of these sides have beaten us in the season. They'll be. They said they've done it once. They'll probably be saying to themselves they can do it again. Um, but we're at home with possibly about seven thousand odd gas heads behind us. So uh, it's you know, and then it's there. It's dangling at us at the moment. I mean, you know, I've just been told by Keith I'm not allowed to say it, but it's <laughs> the there. Word. Yeah, it, yeah, it's there for us. Um, you know, it's in so your it's, hands, I suppose. Yeah, it, well, it's, it's, it's still in yeah, Barnet's to lose, mm. but you know, we can make a, a good go of you know making them sweat for it. Uh, and if they come out of it at the end of the end of the season, we hold our hands up, and you know we, we hopefully can cement ourselves in the playoffs and go that way. But you know we really want to chase them down, um, and that's I think that's uh, I'm speaking not just for myself, but for the rest of the change room as well, because we believe we can do it. Um, you know, but as I said, you have to approach every game as his own different project. Um, starting with Saturday, get Saturday over and done with, then we focus on Braintree. You mentioned the fans there. How big a part can they play in the next two games? They play a massive part towards the end of the remaining 12 games, uh, or the remaining 15 games. It's you know, vocal support is always brilliant to have. We had nearly 400 Rovers fans at, at Grimsby, and they were brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And to be to be honest with you, they've been fantastic with you, with us all year, even through you know tough times. I know we've had minor altercations and stuff like that, but. Um, you know, for a club this size, I think to, to have a few indiscretions is, I think, it's testament to the way the supporters have backed us. And um, <clears throat> you know, all I'm asking for now is, and the rest of the players will be to just keep staying with us. And you know, when things get a bit tough, and which they will do, things won't go our way. Just hopefully they can they can stay vocally behind us and, and give us the lift that we need. 17 league games unbeaten. Now, do you talk about that in the change room? Is it something that's on the on the front of your minds when you're going into games? Not one bit, from honest with you. No, not one bit. The boys aren't care. The boys don't care about that. Um, if you you look back on them, them seventeen, there've been some great performances. Also, been some horrid performances. But um, we know during that during that period, there's been probably too many draws, um, which leaves us, you know, still four points behind. So the main aim for us is to be able to turn them uh, them draws into wins, and 
as I say, it's, it's, I'm not going to use cliches. I can't be dealing with it because I'll already get battered. But it is literally one, one game at a time, and you know that's what the gaffer is. I know I've used one. Sorry, <laughs> Keith. But um, it, it is the, the gaffer enforces on us every single training session. You don't don't drop your standards. Keep maintaining it if you can. Push yourselves on. Push the rest of the group on. Uh, and I think that'll be vital come the end of the season. You mentioned that great win against Grimsby last weekend. Come back from a missed penalty as well. Does that give you an extra boost afterwards when you go back into the change room and think, you know, we had a chance, we missed it, but then we, we, we finished the job in the end? I think that sums us up as a group, really. We had a, a good opportunity to go 1 0 up. Uh, unfortunately, you know, the, the reliable Matty from the spot, he misses. Um, you know, I think this, so yeah, that's his first time I think he's missed this season. I don't know if stats will back it up or anything, but. You know, I was right behind it and he caught it sweet as a nut and unfortunately it either goes in off the post and then it's a great penalty and, you know, fortunately for Grimsby it came off the post and went straight to their player. Um, but I think that's the, the mentality we've got in a group where things like that, you know, don't fa don't phase us, doesn't affect us. We kept plodding away, we still had good chances after that. Um, obviously we took our, lo our lead through Lox's goal um, and really... I think we've got to a stage now if we go one nil up we fancy ourselves to maybe go two or three. Um but the one thing we won't do is concede. Um and I think that's that that's the character the boys shown. Once we go one nil up we're holding on to this and no one's gonna take it away from us. You mentioned not conceding there four clean sheets in the last six and, and, and you know, several over the course of the season as well. Uh, Daryl said it's a team effort that you know the defence will take the credit, but you know yeah. as a team, oh, as don't a whole, get me wrong, must yeah. be really pleased with yeah, it. Yeah, the defence get the bonuses for it. Don't <laughs> you worry about that. <laughs> no, we were um, with as a team. We work, you know, we we work hard on our defensive shape. Um, it's something that we pride ourselves on, uh, not just the back four and the, and the goalkeepers, but as the uh, as a midfield four as well. And obviously, you, you, your strikers that are working hard up front to, to limit the amount of balls that go into your box. Um, I don't want to dwell too much on it because we could go into Saturday and you know things could go pear shaped. But the way we're going at the moment, if we can keep the the, the vein of form that we've got, um, you know, we'll stand up. We'll give ourselves a good chance.